Hey guys, it's Kevin Vandy, and today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to use the Chroma key feature slash like how to use a green screen in CyberLink PowerDirector 14. So we've, I've got CyberLink PowerDirector already opened, and we just need to import our footage into the media room, just like that. And before I actually get started with the uh, Chroma key, I'm going to show you how the timeline works. So I'm going to drag two images onto two different tracks. And uh, as you can see, the image that is on the second track is showing up over the image on the first track. And make that a little bit more obvious. So, And this is important because this means that we're going to want to put our footage that has the green screen on the lowest track so that it, it's in the top layer. And we want to put what's in the background on the first track. So let's get started. We'll put the green screen footage on the second track and we'll put a background in the first track. And uh, as you can see, as, if we just play it now. Do it! Yep, okay. We've got only our green screen footage showing up right now. So what we need to do is make the green background transparent. So what we do, we click on this video, go to modify, and we select, it'll probably look like this when you do this for the first time, you click mark the chroma key and go to the extra settings and you want to click this little eyedropper and to make sure you click what color you want to become transparent. For right, right now for some reason it has black as being transparent so that looks kind of weird. But uh, We're going to change it to this green and we'll can adjust just make some adjustments here to make it so that there's no grain yeah. see if you adjust if you get it wrong it can look pretty bad and let's see how that looks we'll save we'll make this image all the way long just so you can see the whole thing. And let's play it from the beginning. Do it! Just and do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Okay, and that's how you green screen on CyberLink PowerDirector. If you want to see another example, um, of a video I did last year on a previous version of CyberLink. Uh, click the annotation or the card that pops up and uh, you can uh, see just how complicated you can make a, a green screen just on PowerDirector. Uh, you can do a lot of things so click the link if you want to see that. And anyway that's been it for this tutorial and uh, click here if you want to see um, another link tutorial I've made or subscribe if you want to see more that I make in the future.